Good job, Burger! Playing in the NFL, that's a long shot for any college football player, especially at the D3 level. But what about coaching in the NFL? For Trinity assistant Adam McGuire, that dream became a reality when he spent this past offseason with the Minnesota Vikings. It was nice. The first two sessions was really about getting acclimated, getting to meet people, learning, getting feeling comfortable. Because when you come in for training camp, it's like, all right, here's your schedule. You know how things work, go. And so it's nice that they give you that grace period to figure it out before you get thrown to the wolves because um, you're going to get out of it whatever you want. It was really, really special seeing Adam get a chance to go up and work with the Vikings this summer um, on, on multiple levels. One, very excited for him to be able to go and, and rub elbows with some of the best of the best in the entire country. Um, but, you know, it's also very special for me because my little brother my senior year was Adam Zimmer. That's Coach Zimmer's son. Um, Adam is the, the linebacker's coach for the Vikings. And, and Adam helped our Adam um, in terms of helping facilitate the, the, the opportunity for him to go up there with this Bill Walsh um, fellowship. This was by no means a ceremonial position. McGuire had a vital role in helping the Vikings defense during their offseason practices. After practice, after meetings and everything was done, most of my work was at the end of the day. And so at the end of the day, I got to go in and I got to break down practice, uh, input what the offense is doing so they have all that data necessary. Um, put in the linebacker grades into the system um, and then I kept track of all the linebacker and defensive back reps so that they knew how many reps they were giving each guy more so for you know load management for especially those older guys the guys that are going to be playing 16 plus games throughout the season. The fellowship might have only been for one summer but it helped to ingrain invaluable lessons that McGuire has used to coach the Trinity defensive backs this season. One of the things I got from it was like they were some of the best teachers um, of the game. They weren't you know just loud and energetic but like no content it's like they would slow things down and say hey like you don't have to be super all over the place and loud and stuff to teach your guys like sometimes you need to slow it down and make sure you stop and teach what needs to be taught so that they understand and also understand that sometimes you got to scale it back to make sure you're working through like the little pieces that go into it there is no definitive path to breaking into the nfl ranks but the experience working with a pro team along with his knowledge of the game, will make McGuire an enticing candidate as he continues in his coaching career. At the end of the day, it's all the same game. And so, like, talking to their D-line coach out there, that was one of the things he would always ask me, is, you know, what did you get from it? What did you notice? And I told him, I was like, honestly, like, I just noticed, like, once the, once the whistle blows, once they kick that ball off, it's all the same game. He said, exactly. And, and that was the other thing he taught me was, hey, it doesn't matter what level you're at, it's all football. And so whether you're a junior high coach or an NFL coach, it's all football. And so put into it your best ability, make sure you're teaching the people around you and impacting people, because at the end of the day, we're all coaching the same game. With Sports Tonight, I'm Mike Lefko.